Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to the channel. I am Shakira Love. And on this channel, I do reaction videos. So if that's something you guys are interested in, stick around and let's watch this video together, okay? Today I have top five scary stalkers caught on camera, okay? Listen, we know they're creeps everywhere, okay? We got stalkers, we got peeping toms, you know, they're just everywhere, okay? So let's see what's going on in this video. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into it, guys. Welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll be looking at another top five scary stalkers caught on camera. In this video posted by abcchicago.com, couple Jack Mackershare and Jordan Baranskis were sleeping one night and CCTV footage captured something terrifying. 3.30 a.m. on a Monday morning, a creepy man in a white hoodie can be seen at the top of the stairs watching the couple sleep. He moved so slowly and quietly that he didn't even wake the two dogs sleeping at the couple's feet. Jack and Jordan had an argument about Jordan's missing purse. Jack believed she simply left it at the restaurant they dined at, but they looked over their surveillance footage and were shocked to see the creeper. The intruder received the nickname the Creeper Ghost and is believed to be the one behind the other robberies around the neighborhood. Residents has captured an image of this. Oh my God. Imagine waking up, looking at your surveillance footage, and this is what you see. Somebody was in your house. Imagine how freaked out you are. Okay? You don't feel safe no more. You want to move. Okay? You're on edge. You can't sleep at night. That's what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? This man is a professional thief. Yeah. Because he did not wait the dogs. He did not wait the dogs. That's how skilled this man was. Okay? He didn't wait the dogs. Think about it. A man riding through on a bike and a ring doorbell camera captured him trying to break into a home. See? Hopefully this is what he he's does. captured by now. I hope they Jack catch and him. Also added extra cameras to their home just in case another incident like this happens again. That's just creepy. In this TikTok video posted by Hey It's Phoebes, it was 9:25 p.m. and Phoebes was unaware that she had been followed home. Phoebes unlocked the door and entered her apartment before a creepy man emerges five minutes later. The stalker walked back and forth past her door for two hours. For he two hours. The door and looked in Phoebes' window. At 11.35 p.m., Phoebes' boyfriend came home and the stalker went away, never to be seen again. That just shows you how determined these stalkers are, you know? Like, this man stalked this lady out for two hours, looking in her window. You know what I'm saying? He probably, he's trying to see how he's going to get in. Luckily, her boyfriend came home. So now he see that, okay, she has a man. So this is not going to work. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is just creepy. You don't feel safe no more walking home. You know what I'm saying? What would have happened had her boyfriend not come home? Was he going to keep creeping or attempt to break in? I'm glad we'll never know. I hope they catch him. Some of these videos are disturbing because I'm a woman, you know what I'm saying? So watching this is like, you got to be so careful. You got to watch your surrounding. You know what I'm saying? You go in your car, you close the car door behind you. You know what I'm saying? Lock the locks. You go in your house, lock it right away. Lock your locks right away. You know, because you never know who is behind you. You never know who's watching you or who has been watching you. You know what I'm saying? In this video posted by Fox13news.com, Look at this one. He looked like the devil Baranon, himself. I'm not even lying. Better as Sonia Deville had a stalker, 24-year-old Philip Thomas, who left her menacing messages, including, I'm going to force you to do what I want. 
I've tried to warn you. When I get my hands on you, I'm going to make sure you understand what pain you put me through. The messages were never ending. During Sonia's hearing, she quoted the most chilling message of all. CCTV footage captured Sonia checking her sliding door after the alarm was triggered. How Thomas did he get had in? set the alarm off, and Sonia bolted as he entered her home. Sonia was reasonably horrified for her life, but she can feel relief as Thomas was denied bond by the judge, meaning he'll be awaiting trial. Thank God. Yeah, thank God, because that's just creepy and disgusting. So this man is saying, hey, baby, I'm going to kill you. What? What are you saying? I'm telling you, people be twisted in the head. They walking around looking all sane and shit, but they really twisted in the head. Okay. In this video posted by ABC News on July 5th of 2011, Paris Hilton had an obsessed fan, 36-year-old Rainford. Rainford had been arrested for stalking Hilton. He I was think I heard about this. Police custody for peering through the window of Hilton's beach house in Malibu, which violates the 200 feet restraining order Hilton had against him. Three months prior, Rainford attacked Hilton's boyfriend in broad daylight. Much closer. In April, Rainford attacked Hilton's boyfriend in broad daylight outside an L.A. courthouse. Watch as he leaps onto the screen. More chilling. That is the guy with him on the bike to my house. Who is this guy? Hilton recognized Rainford immediately. And Rainford this is crazy. The only thing more disturbing than all of that was hearing the words of delusion and insanity from Rainford. You tried to attack Paris Hilton. No, I wasn't. Well, you proposed to her and she's accepted? No. Yes, walk. she did. You're going to have to walk right over there. Yes, she did. What is the wedding? The picture in my pocket, I'll show you. Where? Rainford was sentenced to 227 days in prison for the attack. Stay tuned for our number one pick that will shock you. If you enjoyed the content. Delusional. Like, that might need to be evaluated because there's something wrong up top, okay? Something wrong. He's in love. Crazy. And, and want real-time updates? Follow me on Twitter at The Fear Tales. The link is in the description. In this video posted by DailyMail.com, CCTV footage captures a man in a hoodie creeping outside the house of actress Stephanie Davis. The creepy man left gifts at Stephanie's doorstep quite frequently, one of them being a plant that came with a letter saying, and I quote, Grow this and grow our love. Oh, Stephanie hell no. also came across some messages from her stalker on Instagram. Stephanie said, and I quote, I noticed some messages off this account, one of hundreds, as I don't know how many accounts he's made to message me. And how did he find like where she really lives? And scary. But he was basically saying he knows that we were meant to be together and he loves me and wants to be a dad to Caven. Stephanie began to fear for her life and rightfully so. Here is another quote from Stephanie stating, and I quote, at this point, I was like, what am I going to do if he tries to kill me? It was really scary. He's coming to my house. He is waiting for hours outside. Well, why didn't you call the police? Like he's right there, call the police. You know what I'm saying? This is just creepy. He knows where she lives. He knows her kid name. He knows everything. This is weird, okay? What is he planning? Is he looking for ways to get in? Is he watching me through the window? Is he doing something even more disturbing? 
I'm gonna play some audio from the footage. Warning, it is bone chilling and disturbing. <sighs> Stephanie can be heard screaming in terror, understandably. I mean, anyone would freak out in this situation. It's like, this is out of your control, you know? You don't know what, what his intentions are towards you. I mean, anyone would freak out, you know? She posted the scary footage to Instagram along with the caption, My stalker, I have been quiet on social media for a long time and not as active as I used to be, as this has been going on for nearly a year, and I've had to stay quiet about it so it didn't affect the case. The stalker was identified as 43-year-old Alex Boston, who pled guilty, but failed to turn up for sentencing, and there's a warrant out for his arrest. Stephanie made it clear, stalking is not a form of flattery. No, nor it's is not it acceptable. Women should expect. I couldn't agree more, and I'm glad Stephanie is okay. Thanks for checking out the channel. Stay vigilant, friends. That is crazy, okay? Like, listen, stay safe, guys, and watch out for these creepy people because they are out there, you know? You might think something like this could not happen to you, but it could happen to anyone, all right? So just watch out um notice your surroundings you know what i'm saying lock your car lock your door you know just just try to be careful just try to be as safe as possible okay so you don't end up in a situation like this okay because a lot of times a lot of people end up in situations like this and they don't make it out alive they disappear you know stuff happens so just be careful guys but thanks for watching this video with me today and i will catch you guys in the next one bye